Get ready, everyone, for Tuesday afternoon NBA action on 2K Sports. Our broadcast team tonight, on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. And on the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Boston Celtics. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. They've got Pippen. Michael Jordan is out there with Derrick Rose. Then it's Dennis Rodman. And it's Gilmore in at the five. Beasting on defense. First, he closes out hard on the shooter. Then he attacks the glass. Filthy. Rodman kicks to Rose. And it's sent back by Russell. Wow. Look at the extension Russell gets there. That, that comes from great positioning plus the quick jump with the wingspan. Here's Kuzi. And it's Chicago with the rebound. 0 for 3 now in the early going. Just a little bit out of sync. From deep, Jordan. The rebound by Pierce. About one minute into the first quarter. Passes it to Kuzi. Six to shoot. Back to Pierce. And he converts the layup. They finally hit one after missing three straight. And it's Rose with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. Jordan kicks to Rose. And finished off by Rose. Insane leaping skills from Derrick Rose on display. You gotta watch out when he takes off. There's 126 left here in the opening quarter. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. I spoke with the Celtics head coach a little bit ago. He said they must take care of the basketball tonight. They're playing a team that lives off of what it gets defensively. Getting out in transition. He needs his guys to protect the ball. Kevin? Thanks, David. No question with the defense they're facing tonight. Coach would like to see Greg them gain some early confidence. The efficiency is key for them. Don't make the mistakes that turn defense into offense. Those mistakes included turnovers, bad shots, and rush shots. All must be avoided if they're to accomplish their goal. Now here's Pippen and the dunk by Jordan. And you know how that play's going to end. Jordan in the air, adjusting effortlessly. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Kuzi bears it to Pierce. And the rejection by Pippen. Fast break, here comes Chicago. And it's Jordan with the jam. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Here's Kuzi. Following the basket by Michael Jordan. There's 14 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Kuzi passes it to Bird. Releases from 15. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And that's his strongest trait, the, the unselfishness from Kuzi. Fantastic at realizing when one of his guys has an opportunity for a clean look. At the end of... Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. So for Chicago right now, they've got Noah, and it's Love in at the four spot. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And it's Jones with the ball for the Boston Celtics. It's a three-point game. Pass to McHale. Outside, Jones. Back to McHale. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Oh, the lightning quickness, the cool demeanor. Just no one works harder at the game of basketball than, than Jones. He, he's always in shape and always ready to make a play. Here's Chicago. Here's Love. And the dunk by Love. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. 
Out left to the wing. Stolen by Noah. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Butler with the ball. Celtics trail by three. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Here's McHale with nobody on him. He buries the jumper. McHale's got his first basket of the night. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Here's Butler. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Explosive athlete. The tenacity of Jimmy Butler. Too much to contend with. And there's the pass to Jones. To the paint. It's tipped and stolen by Love. And Butler, here we go. Good and a nice assist from Noah. Butler's got the lead up to five now for the Bulls. Nice pass here to set that basket up. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Garnett finds White. It's blocked. One-on-one -on -one here. And the jump to finish it off. A ah, beauty. And great hustle to turn that block shot into a fast break opportunity. Big time play on both ends. Celtics trail by seven. Pass to Havlicek. Right at the free throw line. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Got it. Nice one there from Levine. This is the capability Zach Levine has. Can score on all three levels. White against Levine. And White kicks to Havlicek. Nailed from three-point land. Havlicek's got his first three points of the game. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. And Scotty Pippen the bucket on the assist by Levine. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Bucket is good. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they've executed. And here's Bird from the arc. That shot off. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. Their defense has been active and effective. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. Russell is out there with Bird. Then there's Havlicek. Then it's Pierce. And it's Kuzi in at the one. That's the Boston Five. Good! Celtics trail by 12. On the wing, Bird. From deep. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Gilmore's got four rebounds now tonight. Rodman passes to Gilmore. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Chicago shooting their first free throw this game. And as a free throw shooter, Rodman has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field and he could not get that one to go a lot of contact and he'll go to the line for two then it's robin picks one up really out of the right play defensively if you can't block force him to the line jimmy butler he's checked in for scotty pippen second free throw no good he gets it in there offensively defensively they are in total control this has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, 
they've maintained their focus. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Effort's been there. Check mark. The physicality. Check mark. They set the tone for this game early on. And the shot goes down. That was the first make of the half. One for four now. Let's see if that gets them going. That one good for two. And that's now 10 points for Michael Jordan. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Outside Pierce. Bird outside. Knocks down the three ball. Bird's got five. Just such great consistency on that jump shot. Even though he's not always squared up, Bird terrific in the catch and shoot game. Celtics trail by 14. Teardrop shot, and it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Celtics ball. The team's changing it up here. Fifty-five seconds left in the third. Here's Kuzi. Banked in off the glass. He has five. I tell you, Kuzi is, is pretty crafty down there on the block. Has that sense of how to score in traffic. Rejected by Pierce. Allen up top. High post shot. That one at tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. And denied! He sends it right off the glass. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. The Bulls leading by ten. Outside Jordan. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. You want unselfishness? But you also need to keep it under control. Here's White. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. The Celtics shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And that one falls for White. Both shots good from the strike. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Here's Sloan. Over Pierce. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Holding on to an eight-point lead, heading into the break. They're shooting the ball so well. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Celtics trail by eight. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. They've got Zach Levine, and it's Gilmore in at the center position. He lobs it up. Inside. Deflects the pass. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's how Zach Levine reacts when he blows up his airspace. He has a nice little pump fake, and he blows past you. Austin making a switch here. Parrish is checked in. And Chicago also making a switch. Pippen's checked in. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by 10. On the basket by Jones. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Left side, Levine. That one's not going to go. Excellent D there from Parrish. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Havlicek, he's checked in for Boston. And Chicago also making a switch. Dennis Rodman, he's checked in for Kukoc. Passes it to Havlicek. Here's White. And it's Chicago with the rebound. 
Gilmore's got seven rebounds in the game. And he lays in the alley-oop. And the Bulls lead by 10. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with a circus move. Mm, so smooth. With some arc. Parrish inside. Pierce wide open. He fires. It's good from long range. Paul oh, Pierce is in the top five all time for made three-point field goals. Have to at least get a hand up in his face. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. 133 left to play here in the fourth. Tipped away. It's tipped. Outside Pippen. Chalk up two there. And Pippen there driving hard inside. Has the height and athleticism to consistently get it done in the paint. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trailing by 11. One ten left in the fourth quarter. Bulls making a switch here. Kuzi bears it to Russell. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Rose. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Good on the first, and that brings them to within 10. Good on both. And Chicago has possession. And it's Russell with the rebound. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. And remember, Havlicek was a highly recruited quarterback, so you see his passing ability on that one. And here's Jordan outside, and Boston with the rebound. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space. But that does make it a tougher shot. And finished off by Rose. Boy, that was a big shot. And stunned silence, guys. That's the atmosphere in here after that shot. Here's Kuzi. Gilmore grabs the miss. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. There's 25 seconds left in the game. Pass to Bird. And the bank shot is good. Just the height separation on that mid-range jumper. Excellent job of taking advantage. Outside Rose. Knocked away. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Rose. Now the dish to Bird. From deep three-point range, off target with that shot. And so it's Chicago winning this one. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances.